Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Daggerath here. I'm going to show you my greenhouse camp today. I love plants, always have. We've got a lot of plants, as you can see. Stuff that we have in the games, like succulents and spider plants and other crazy, I don't know what that is, kind of house plant. Um, in my hand here, I have a plant that has no roots, that lives off of the moisture in the air lives in rocks and yeah you never have to water it despite it looking like a fake plant <clears throat> so without further ado let's check out my greenhouse camp as you arrive at the beautiful entrance of my greenhouse slash nursery you can see that there's um quite a bit of plants here now, I didn't plant all of these trees around here, only the two in the middle, which was another great reason that I picked this spot right here on the map to build. We do have a full budget, so use all as we could. There's a lot of plants here. So let's start with the first greenhouse after we build the school. First time I've actually seen anything spawn here um, in many hours and visits here. Interesting. Um, so here we go into the first one. Lots of plants for sale. Lots of uh, you know, flowering plants and indoor plants that are in big pots in here. I spent some time, you know, sinking some of these into the tables. Now, I could have, um, you know, done uh, hybrid plants, done a lot of converging plants. If that's something you want to do. It's pretty easy to do. You can sink plants into other plants and make some cool looking stuff. But then I would have lost the amount that I could have put in here. Yeah, it wouldn't have seemed as big and not what I was looking for. Of course, we have the famous Bethesda ferns uh, doing exactly what you would want. Uh, as you can see, they'll clip through walls like magic um, and just really healthy, uh, very similar, almost identical in every way. Um, you know, they're made that way. Um, those ones aren't as good. Oh, this one's clipping through the wall there. That's a good one there. Um, just beautiful ferns by Bethesda. Thank you. Um, this is one of the first things they had in the Atom shop with these uh, nuclear uh, planters. Very cool. This is all being watered by a sprinkler system that goes through to there and connects... Um, and has plenty of ventilation here during the day and at night. I wanted to do this video during the day because, I mean, it's a greenhouse. It just really looks good. Um, we always have a settler here, which is pretty awesome. Always complaining about how hard it is to work here. So that's kind of neat. I didn't actually need to put an ally in the camp to add that kind of feel. It was already here. The water line connects to the water purifier, which is run off of solar energy. This is a greenhouse. Try to keep it green. Some hay bales and some flowers. Of course, we have the raw fertilizer that we're going to need to plant all of these plants at our camp or fix them if they're broken. Um, lots of vegetables and razor grain, carrots, potatoes, blackberries, death claw bushes, and corn. We're going to the second uh, greenhouse here. The water continues over, continues the sprinkler system to help water the plants in here. Um, I do enjoy the sound that this junkyard fountain makes, uh, aesthetic, uh, aesthetically pleasing to the ear. Uh, lots of succulents in here, smaller house plants of all different types, almost like the ones you see around me. Um, here we have a cactus table with lots of miscellaneous cactuses. Uh, I would hate to fall into that. I do have a cactus. I didn't want to carry it and put it out here. It's kind of a, a prick to carry. Uh, again, we have uh, some stone, I mean, uh, cement benches. Uh, you know, a local nursery greenhouse might sell some stoneware pots and, and, and cement pots and benches. So I have some of that stuff stacked up. The checkout area by the door. Uh, some reject plants back there, maybe some experimenting on fertilizers that they might have uh, 
taken a little too far. Uh, employees only. Uh, I also, in both, I want to point out these beams in the center of each of the camps. Um, that was pretty simple to do. You just needed to put one foundation down, put those there, and then build everything around it. Uh, just do it first, or you know, you could take the roof out here and take a foundation out of the floor and plop it in and, and build it. It was very nice um, aesthetic to the center of this greenhouse. I, I feel like it, you know, it worked. Um, so and we also have a little bench, beehive, and you know, a shipping container where we kept the workbenches, you know, storage uh, for this uh, greenhouse nursery out here. It makes it a functional camp. Uh, the lighting is pretty nice at night, but again, it's a greenhouse. It's all based on the day. We don't really want lights on at night. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is my greenhouse camp. I had a lot of fun building. Why not use those greenhouse walls for actual greenhouses? Um, yeah, that's about it. Have fun building out there. I'm Daggerath. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.